welcome. Today at Udo we are really proud to show our latest creation. Please welcome Carmadillo. Carmadillo, as you can see, is um, a rover, a remote controlled rover controlled via an Android application. What it does, besides being a normal RC car, so it goes forward and backwards as a normal RC car will do, is also having a camera which I can control with the same Android application and I can then see the video on my Android device streamed from Carmadillo. It is really nice and uh, of course uh, the some of you may have spotted uh, the video we posted a week ago. This was still a work in progress and this is our first version. So take this as uh, the Mark 1 because it has something really um, to be addressed and uh, but it is fine, it works. It is a proof of, con of concept and uh, Luca, the guy which uh, built Carmadillo is now working on an improved model so stay tuned because this will be really really amazing we are taking a semi pro car instead of this uh, so you'll see but let's return to Carmadillo so the recipe for Carmadillo is this an older C car you can disassemble please make sure that it has enough batteries for providing at least one and a half amperes of energy. Then two stepped motors, you do camera modules and of course you do uh, decide uh, which one is best for you. The important thing is of course uh, that it uh, will have a Wi-Fi connectivity and um, Arduino motor shield. So what are the problems that we encountered with the Mark I Carmadillo and, uh, and that we are trying to solve for the Mark II. Well, uh, first power consumption. Uh, Carmadillo is fed by the same uh, battery power that uh, used to, to fed the, the old electronic components. Because we, we have here in this slot 8 uh, 1.5 volts AA type uh, batteries which ensure us uh, to have uh, uh, 12 volts and uh, about uh, 1 ampere and a half of power. Um, please ensure if you want to replicate uh, this project that you have at least 1.5 uh, ampere. This is the bare minimum to get everything working at uh, 12 volts considering that at full throttle the, the motor will drain um, somewhere between uh, 0.7 and 1 amperes of uh, power. We, we've done uh, some consumption tests also on uh, Udo and um, the results uh, are encouraging because uh, um, streaming video through Wi-Fi to our application and running uh, the Java server for the motors um, is making you do uh, drain uh, half ampere so you got pretty left for the motors of uh, the RC car. The second one problem is um, the delay of the video transmission and to the controls. We optimized the system and we took a minimal image in order to have uh, um, the, the less load on processors. So with a pretty good system optimization we were able to um, decrease from 5 seconds delay to less than 1 second. Uh, the results may vary due to your uh, network configuration and some other parameters like the resolution you are sending the images to but this is um, this is uh, now acceptable one second uh, is good less is better around um, 100 and uh, 300 
300 milliseconds would be ideal. We are trying to reach that figure. Uh, then, uh, that's it. So this was the hardware part of Carmadillo. But uh, which software wizardry we did have to set up to make it working? Well, uh, talking client side, the application is really simple now. It's just a little bit dirt uh, because we are making um, a better one. But now it works with VLC on the background which grabs uh, the RTSP video sent from uh, the, the camera via Wi-Fi, of course, and then uh, we have uh, an overlay joysticks uh, which controls both the camera and then the motors. So the Android app is made by these two components. We are now merging into um, a unique app, but now it works like that. For the server part, we do have a Java server that runs on a minimal Ubuntu image to ensure that the system is running smoothly, as smoothly as possible. This will uh, impact both on power consumption and both, uh, of course, on uh, system readiness that will result in less delay. Then uh, the, um, we have uh, a script that sends uh, an R RTSP uh, video to the application and we have uh, the Java server <laughs> which, through serial, communicates with uh, the Samtra X Arduino controller, which controls the motors. This works, of course, via serial, and uh, the serial speed is a critical um, component for um, the project. We found out that a good balance uh, between uh, speed is really good. Setting it too low will result in some comments to be dropped, Setting it to high will result in uh, noise. Uh, so we found out that 96,000 is the best speed. <laughs> then uh, the, the Arduino sketch is as simple as it can be, since it has only to translate commands from the Java server to the motors via the motor shield. And uh, uh, that's it. You can find, of course, all the source code on uh, Yudo's project uh, GitHub and later on in the article. So guys, this is uh, Carmadillo Mark I. As you can see, this is a small step for electronic, but a huge step for makers. Because you could uh, replicate it at home. This is what we got now. We are now working on an improved version, the Mark II, which will be even more awesome and we of course invite you not only to replicate that but to stay tuned to find out all other great EDU projects. Bye!